says we're good, and that means we're good, because Colby tells the truth, and we're great. Three, two, one, one, one. Actually, no. Go. All right. So number one in Austin right here, and number one in Waco also right here. Oh man, I did not think he was going up to that platform. That was, that was scary, uh, especially <laughs> especially since uh, Captain Falcon just barely missed the back air. Mm. Uh, it could have easily been the stock right there. I'm surprised he didn't grab the glitch. He went super low. Oh, checks that out. That missed the back air, but it didn't matter. Oh, the call out was a hard bounce. That was a DMG dance on the beach. Could have done so many other things, but oh, okay. Oh, super late up there. Oh, he was trying to call out that uh, that flash, and he did. Oh my what? goodness! Oh my goodness! That was amazing. Yeah, DMG missed the flash call out, and then it was just kind of like uh, foot soul. That's what you get for missing that. <laughs> oh my goodness, the smash attack. Yeah, uh, Grime just has a call out on DMG right now. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good track. Grime is just playing both characters right now. <laughs> okay, that was a good thing to play. I feel like Grime could be shooting more lasers. Like, I feel like that would be really hard for Falcon to do it. Uh, I know, except for the dad dancing, he's, the platform's actually doing a lot of work for like, surviving the lasers. Oh. Right, the fade back, overfade, the overfade, the crossfade. Oh my gosh, that is so, I don't know how that works. He hit it, he hit it. Yeah. Uh, I oh. think it's because, like, the hurt box or the hit box moves, like, one of, they move at different speeds. Mm. Okay. So, so it's like, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I just, I just gotta go for the next hit. And that was a clean mm. three stock. Grime's starting off strong in this winner's finals. Off to an early lead. Where, where are the captain picking to? Three, two, one. FOD. Oh wait, no, this is DMG's counter pick, I suck. Uh, Green Hill. Oh, I knew it. I'm the best. Three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah, everything about this stage seems very Falcon. It has walls for the wall jumping. It's got a lot of room to run around in comparison. And uh, the platform is just there enough to help with the combo while not like distracting and allowing for camping and the other, from the other guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Must have been DIing out for it because you can DI that shine in all sorts of ways. And yeah, that he, <laughs> he went straight out. Yeah, he nearly died from it alone. I'm curious what he would have like if he was just holding back, if he was trying to fade, or if he was actually DIing for something else. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not sure if that down smash is necessarily a call out per se, but it just covers a lot of options. Like when Falcon is up being back, and you're like, okay, he's gonna if he lands on the stage, he can't get so far in stage to get all the way over. So unless he fades back and sweet spots the ledge, that actually covers pretty much everything. Yeah. The Falcon. Oh, he went for the footstool and accidentally just taunted on stage. Yeah. See that laser really set up. Yeah. Just like I know, Grime is just doing the. He's like deciding the hardest uh, smash attack on just which what covers three options. So it just turns into a 50 50. Yeah. Really smart, especially since Falcon's tech roll, you can easily see which way he's going, so you can commit to it a lot easier. For sure. Oh, wow. I really thought he sweet spotted that. Grime steals that stock. It was a pretty much an even game. Oh, what a match. Oh, really? Shine is in new. Oh man, that re-grab. I'm pretty sure that was a purposeful grab release. <laughs> yeah. It can be really good. Oh my goodness, just 
calls out that jump like nobody's business. Okay, so we got a last stock game. Definitely not undoable with PNG. Uh, <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> That's so sad. I do that with Wolf all the time. I'm like, wave shot, wave shot, wave shot, flash! Oh! I lose. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's my wolf. That's why I am not in winner's finals. Or a wolf main. Or a wolf main, yeah, you're right. It looked so. like they were laughing it off, though. They, they, they're, yeah. at least, they're really at least having fun. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Graham seems to have a lot of fun. He plays secondaries a lot at the Austin Weekly, so, like, I've seen his Roy, I've seen his Zelda. Uh, Three, he plays a lot of different characters. GMG mostly plays the Falcon, but also we don't have nearly as many turns. Oh, the jab reset was super good. Yeah. I'm curious why Grim chose like uh, Final Destination, but it's working right now. Yeah, I, I feel like this would be good for Falcon. I mean, like I guess it's, it's honestly probably the lasers, because like Falcon can't go anywhere to. Like even on Green Hill with the platform, he can he can go there to get away from the lasers, but like here there's there's no escape. Yeah. Also, Grime was using a lot less lasers last game. Mm, yeah, he was. But I know I feel like the normal thing is that Falcon wants to run around, like the the space gets closed by a laser, will close out laser and covers like another myth of the stage. It's one one. Yeah, he does cover a lot of the stage. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't quite get the stomp. I thought he had it. Oh, yeah, he that definitely was just a call out. <laughs> yeah. I don't I think that might have covered one or two options, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that will that I don't know, he just knows. He's he's inside his DMP's head. Really clean shine to back air, looking like Falco out here. <laughs> yeah. He said we're project down. Oh, oh my goodness! DMG with a call out of his own. Oh, and almost another one. He could have had that flash. The down smash seemed like a call out. I'm pretty sure that also covered him for Yacht. Yeah. It was at least a very small. Yeah. No, D DMG's definitely learning. At the first start of the set, it looked like Brian was figuring out pretty good. But DMG eking out game two. We got a little lead in here in game three. So, And this is the best of five, too. So. The, uh, the adjustments are not done yet, for sure. The DMG just trying to slowly find back the stage with control. And, uh, well, he got it. Oh, he got it. Whoa. It doesn't die. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, pretty close to even game here now. Um, yeah, with how like easily gets the these two characters are it's essentially even. Yeah. Like, at a moment's notice one could be dead. Yeah. I saw DMG a few oh, seconds ago, uh oh goodness gracious. That was a good combo. Um he was throwing out moves before DMG and he he just knew. Yeah, he knew. DMG was nearing the lasers though, so um that it, he doesn't have to be super afraid of it if he can just nair through them. Because you're throwing out oh you're throwing out nares with Falcon on that was a sick drop zone, Nate. Oh. Really good stop. Yeah. Uh, it seems like every, uh, every time Grime just uh, shines and doesn't hit a DMP, uh, DMP just gets a free stop. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, oh super good off oh, stage knee there. Yeah, like, I, I don't know if I don't know if it has to be that way. Like, if Grime would act. I mean. I don't, I don't know what specific situations you're talking about, but I would definitely feel like if he acted faster out of the shines, like that would be less of an issue. <laughs> like just wave shining out of all of those if he doesn't hit. But yeah, okay. So PS2. So just the stage is just big enough that he'll just be far away from the lasers. <laughs> like I don't even have to clank with them or shield them. I'll just stay away. Wow. Well, this was uh, Grimes' counter pick, right? Uh, yes, it was. Maybe uh, the platforms would help with his movement combo game. Yeah, I, th I think they do, and you can get some flash stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, based off like missed text on the platform. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So he gets the bounce match. Off to a significant lead here. Yeah, this is less than 20%. And looking like it's about to explode in the moment. Another good try. Oh, the weak hit of Horus Mass is gonna do it. Poor Falcon. Poor Captain Falcon. That is what you get for having your combo game and your speed. You died a weak hit forward smash at 35. I know, he's probably died the last before. Probably some grabs. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh. what? That, did he? Did, did you try to up me there? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna call DM's crazy grab on you. So. <laughs> oh, really, that's, you know, really that's honestly not a bad, not a bad call. <laughs> Probably grab armor. Oh. oh wow. Oh, just raw knee. Knee in neutral, bringing it slightly closer. Yeah, he knows he needs to explode now, so he's pulling yeah. out everything. And that, that's been three stomps this stock, and he's not he's not slowing down. Yeah, this this has been a monstrous stock for DMG. Oh, gets the regrab. Oh, chasing. Down. Oh, that was a nasty combo. The down tilt. The down tilt. <laughs> it was the smartest choice and the greatest choice all in one. <laughs> but now he's off stage, and it does not look good. Okay. I mean, he definitely brought it back. He was down uh, four to two. Now he's down two to one. So he closed the deficit a little bit. If he can just have one more stock like that last one. If he played that every stock like that, then he would be like top 20 in the world. Yeah, I feel. I know. It's it's really who's coming down to because they're both like approaching so much and being safe uh, whenever they're doing it. It's who can capitalize the close quarters areas. They're they're fighting all their battles in this like 10 foot area right next to the ledge. Yeah, and in that sense, I feel like it's a little better for Wolf because Wolf doesn't just die if he gets hit on stage. <laughs> yeah, that and uh, Wolf just has some really good moves including the smash attacks that he's been using. Yeah. The thing that's been keeping DMG in the set, is, though, is just the combo game. Like, it might be slightly better for... Oh, what? What? Okay. Wait. <laughs> I, I, uh... I'm just going to blame Grab Armor again. Yeah, that was Grab Armor. <laughs> Stupid PM Grab Armor. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh. wow, kills him off the top. <laughs> he teleported through the hitbox and only got hit by the backside of it. End quote from featured player Kingly on the on what happened there. And he teleported it with the grab armor, so. Yeah, he was teleporting with grab armor. <laughs> when did that be a move? It just... <laughs> dude, that's going to be my new thing. I'm going to walk up to people and be like, dude, look at this new tech I learned with Zelda. And just do a teleport to the other side of them, and then try to grab them, and be like, "Did you see how when I went through you? Did you see the grab armor there? <laughs> did you see how I took percent?" And they're gonna be like, "Uh, no." And I'll be like, "No, it's it's actually it's like frame four. <laughs> that's but the that's the other thing you do to sound smart is you tell people what frame what frame something is, and exactly that frame. Yeah, like, yeah, it's it's frame, it's frame four, frame perfect actually. It's a uh, frame six with no visual cues." Uh, <laughs> Audio cue six frames before that, so. <laughs> Three, two, okay, so game five, Delfinos. Lots of space for lasers, lots of space for running for Falcon, and lots more space in the middle, so not everything is going to be by the edges. Yeah, I don't think DMV is ever going to be on the ground <laughs> unless he's comboing. And even then, he doesn't like it. Oh! He called out that wall jump. That was so good. I think the wall, map, uh, wall jump was needed, but the up air was, uh, that went with it was, I'm say, maybe the back air was yeah. quicker. Yeah, I might have been calling out the up air. Right. But back air stayed out so long, up air you at least have the time to do the up air, which is the most important part of it. <laughs> DMG does the same thing again, narrowly avoids it. Oh, does not, <laughs> that's one of the first call outs we've seen that actually didn't just smash the other person. <laughs> that's how you know it's a fun set. That was a gentleman cancelled by a gun. <laughs> Crowd cancelled, you know? Oh no. Missed the jump after he's up there. Oh, what a wonky cover. Oh, this is an awful thing. It's gonna be tough to cover. 
Grime is looking very. <laughs> what was that? Finish that sentence. Very dead this stock. <laughs> uh, but generally pretty well. Uh, only SD twice by doing that silliness. And in <laughs> five games, SD twice. Well, that alone could be the top 100. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the best players are the ones who SD the most. Like what? I was playing a Nest player in the loser's side of bracket, and I SD'd six times in two games, and I still won the set. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I SD'd six times. <laughs> Stock in two games, so I would get up to like 90 and then kill myself, <laughs> and then I get up to like 130 and then kill myself. Okay. So it was basically like we were just playing the match. Okay, and as we go back into this match, we just watched the down smash happen. Just you know, casual Falcon that down smash is kind of a lost art of punting people. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Baylor football team may need him. <laughs> the Baylor football team could use all the help they can get. That's for sure. I think Captain Falcon would be like a real good running back. Oh no, I would have Captain Falcon at every dang position at the Baylor football team. That's yeah. fair. But not this Falcon, because he's dead. Nope, not this one. So that'll do it. Grime into Grand Finals. Oh, sure.